Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray, and today I'm doing a smartphone camera test with the new Xiaomi Mi 11. Now this device has been available since late December in China, but now it's finally available in Europe and a couple other markets as well. Everything that you see in this video is recorded on this device, so make sure you keep an eye on the bottom of the screen to see which cameras are being used. What you're looking at right now is the front-facing 20 megapixel sensor that can record up to 1080p video at 30 FPS. And then there's three cameras on the back of the device, a 108 megapixel main sensor, and then a 13 megapixel ultra-wide camera, and then finally a five megapixel macro camera. The main two cameras can record video at 4K 30, or sorry, 4K 60 FPS, but the 108 megapixel sensor can bump things up to 8K video capture at 24 frames per second, just like Samsung's Galaxy S21 devices as well. Now that we've gotten the specifications of the Xiaomi Mi 11's cameras all squared away, let's take a look at some photos and videos captured on this device to see how it performs in everyday use. And this here's a look at 4K video capture from the rear camera. And one thing to note is that unlike some other devices that are currently on the market, if you record video and want to change between the sensors, you actually can't while you are recording video. You are allowed to zoom in and out, but this is a digital zoom rather than switching between the lenses. So I started recording from the main sensor. I can't switch over to the ultra wide camera unless I stop recording. And this here is a look at the ultra wide camera. As you can see, a much wider field of view than the standard sensor. You can zoom in from this sensor, but again, this is a digital zoom rather than switching over to the main sensor. The fact that the Mi 11 cannot record 4K video from the front facing camera is a little bit disappointing since this is considered a flagship tier device from Xiaomi. 
there are quite a few devices on the market that can record 4K at 30 FPS, and the new Galaxy S devices, the S21, can record 4K video at 60 frames per second from their front-facing cameras. This here's a look at low light video capture from the main sensor. I'm going to switch over to the ultra wide in a second and you'll definitely see a difference in the brightness for the video itself. Now doing the same panning with the ultra wide camera starting off really dark then moving over to the brighter area of the scene it does lighten up just a little bit but it's still pretty dark in here. You can barely see the kitty here. And for video capture from the front facing camera in low light situations, it does decently well as long as your subject is front lit. But if we move over here into a little bit of a darker area, as you can see the video quality does get a lot worse. A lot more grain comes into the shot as it boosts the ISO in order to keep things a little bit brighter than they would naturally. Again, this is 1080p video. It would be nice if it was 4K video capture from the front facing camera, but you get what you get.
And that's gonna do it for this quick camera test with Xiaomi Mi 11. Let me know what you guys think of the results in the comments below and whether or not you'd rather. <clears throat> and that's gonna do it for this quick camera test with the Xiaomi Mi 11. We do have a full review of this device coming up, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon as well if you wanna see that as soon as it's available. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.